Hey guys, Dave with Moneyology here. Hope everyone is having a great day. Today is January 27th, 2020, and this is our second attempt at an oil and gas sector review. We're going to make this particular review available to the general public. This is typically a, a premium review, but uh, we want to make one available for everybody to see. Last video that was published on Sunday, for some reason, the sound dropped over the uh, second half of the video. So uh, with that in mind, let's go through the uh, charts as of today, uh, the 27th, and, and see what we can uh, decipher here. So a couple of things. Here's the uh, oil chart, light crude uh, weekly. And you see here, here's this price channel that ha has been thus far back tested, right? We closed the day on at 53.14. And we so far found support at that 38 level. So I'm gonna I'm watching this level very, very closely to see whether this is just a shakeout or this is a legit move that's gonna be taking us down to new lows. So it's hard to say right now. And uh, that's that's basically all I all we can really uh, say looking at this chart alone. Um, in terms of the daily chart, uh, so this was a nice bounce off of the 52 level. I, I remain uh, pretty strongly can have a pretty strong conviction that that 52 to 53 level will be its low on this move. However, uh, the longer we stay in overbought territory, oversold territory below the 31 level of RSI, the more likely that we're going to be testing 50 and the more likely this breaks lower. So uh, time will tell. Uh, it's hard to say, but bottom line is I would love to see a consolidation, perhaps one more uh, shakeout move to the uh, to the downside with a positive divergence and then a move higher if that's the direction that oil wants to go. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at some of the names. These are the best momentum names in the sector, which means that if and when oil turns around, these names will be leading the pack. So these are the names you want to belong. So uh, this is Enbridge. This has the best momentum and this is in momentum order. So Enbridge looks incredible uh, down very slightly today. Uh, bottom line is I would use any opportunity so long as the price is above this 37 level to buy long. So uh, it might continue going higher. It might, it might pull back. But bottom line is the risk reward here is really nice. And I think that this is going much higher over the next uh, 12 to 24 months. Apache Corp. Uh, so kind of a, unlike Enbridge, Apache is more of a uh, noisy chart. So there's a lot of overhead resistance. Uh, and so far, it met resistance at that 69 level uh, and about 33.50. Uh, let's see what happens once price hits that uh, 26, 27 level. And I think it's going to find some support and eventually break higher. But for the time being, uh, it's it's in consolidation mode. I wouldn't be chasing at this point. Uh, Ultra par participas always. I don't even know what language that is in. But uh <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to pronounce that too often. Bottom line is uh, we've got positive divergence here, uh, but if this is the last time when we when we broke down. So no surprise that 69 is uh, serving as resistance once again. However, this time around, price is much lower than we were last time. So that's positive divergence. Uh, so let this uh, recapture some of that energy, pull back. And I think that this one's going to be moving to, to new highs in 2020. So... The way I would look at this is perhaps on this pullback, if it continues to show weakness, perhaps 584, perhaps 550. But these are areas that I'd be looking to initiate a position with an eventual move at least towards 750 and then possibly higher. Meg Energy Corp. Uh, this one pulled back about 5% today. So uh, that if you extend if you extend this line, I think uh, this coincides with the 50 RSI level. We're at that 632 level, close to 632 as downside support. Um, I think that this is going to hold. In fact, if you look at this chart, this looks to me like a uh, rounded bottom. Perhaps this is going to be kind of like a cup and handle. So I'm watching this level closely. If you own it long, 632 would be your, my stop loss. And we'll see how this plays out. Uh, it can go either way, frankly, at this point. It's hard to say with conviction, uh, but I like the risk reward to the upside at this point. TC Energy Corp. Uh, this one's looking incredibly strong, uh, breaking out to uh, above the 69 level despite the malaise in the energy sector right now, in the oil and gas sector rather. So uh, 
it's this is this is great so long as it stays above the 13 and 26 CMAs currently around 5250 and 51 respectively this will be in great shape Pembina pipeline uh, so this one is interesting because it is above uh, triple top levels and so it's it's breaking on you've got support rounding up from the bottom uh, right now there is some it's curling at the 69 level I don't like when I see that uh, could be if this cannot break higher could be that this is going to be a fake breakdown and breakout and then eventually break down so I'm watching this closely right now um, bottom line is if this breaks back above 39 I think it'll uh, break above the 69 level and that would be a good uh, good point to go long but right now it's kind of on shaky ground given where it's rolling over at the 39 level jagged peak energy um, well, based on the look of this chart, it doesn't look like there's uh, much volume. Uh, I would I would say that there is a nice triple top here, and I'm not sure what's happening here, whether this was bought out or whatnot. But uh, just based on the chart alone, uh, a neckline of around nine ten is very interesting, and this could break towards eleven fifty if uh, this is a legit chart at this juncture. Prime Energy Resources Corp. Uh, so this one uh, is kind of breaking down right now, down 3% on the week. Uh, struggling above the 61 level. Looks like it's going to head towards that 50 level. I still like the setup of this chart, but it might take some more time to consolidate. Uh, I think in the grand scheme of things, this looks to me like a bullish flag. Uh, but met with MACD's in negative territory, I think it, it might be setting up for some additional weakness. Canadian Natural Resources. So this one's rolling over. It's frankly, it's been down for six straight weeks. And um, if it cannot hold the 50 RSI level, and if it breaks below 2850, I would not be want to be long in this position any longer uh, and just take the stop loss and, and, and exit the position. If, however, th this level holds, then this could be a really nice bottom that eventually takes us to new highs. WPX Energy, so it's pulled back some after the breakout, but to me, this could be a bullish flag so long as that 50 level holds. So we're watching very, very closely in the sector because a lot of uh, it's teetering on support and we'll have to see uh, what happens in the coming days and weeks ahead. Uh, Kinder Morgan, so Kinder Morgan is a, is a beautiful chart that's been consolidating. Now, the thing I'll point out is that uh, the last time thing, uh, momentum rolled over was around this level right here. And that's exactly the same level that we're struggling at again. And so again, um, being that we're above uh, support now, above resistance serving as support, above the 13 and 26 EMAs, the risk reward is good. However, if it breaks below this level, it can be a sharp drop to 19. So um, I'm, not, I'm not confident here, frankly, and we'll, we'll see. We'll see where things go. But bottom line is, look at the accumulation that's taking place. Uh, it's paying a nice dividend would be my guess. And so even if it goes down to 19, I mean, really, I, I, I still think that this is uh, in, in good shape longer term. And Halliburton, so Halliburton was our pick all the way from 16. And although it's done really well, uh, some of premium members were up 20, 30%. It's really taken a hit over the last couple of days. Today, it triggered stop losses. Uh, below the 26 EMA, I said, if you want to be more liberal in the stop loss, this area around 2050 would be this, the secondary area. Uh, but it, right now, it doesn't look good having broken below the 50, uh, down 6%. Uh, I think it needs some more time to consolidate and, and rebuild its strength before uh, determining the next direction it wants to go. So that's it. It's a short video. Uh, but uh, bottom line is the overall mood in the energy sector is uh, weakness right now. Uh, whatever strength was was created over last month is is gone basically, and uh, you know there are there is strength still in many names in the sector, but I would not be holding uh, names that especially are in the in the kind of in the penny range because there are going to be some bankruptcies if energy stays at these prices. So that's it, guys. Have a great, great evening, and we'll, we'll see you guys later.